Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another release day unboxing, but wait, hold on a second. This is not a release day unboxing because this thing that I will be unboxing for you didn't even come out yet. It actually comes out tomorrow. Why do I have it early? Because I'm such a cool guy. I'm, I'm such a, as, as Best Buy put it, this is what they told me when they said they're going to give me this early. They said, you're such a G-ass dope fella. That's what they said. Don't know what that means, but they said I'm a G-ass dope fella. And I also have the swagger. Don't I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a Pokemon move, but I, I could be wrong. They also said that I'm handsome and cute, and that I'm both. I'm handsome and cute. I got both spectrums, and and I got the best the best hair in the business. I don't know what business that is. The unboxing business. So. That's why they sent me this early, or it's because they, I don't know, they screwed up just sending me early, I don't know. Um, but this is uh, something I'm very excited about, because I've been actually very, yeah, very much looking forward to this. This is Farpoint, the controller bundle, which of course, Farpoint, if you do not know, is, uh, I would say, the first really big IP, maybe, we'll see, uh, for the PlayStation VR. Now, of course, you had like Batman Arkham, whatever, and Until Dawn, and... What else? I guess you had rigs. I guess that was kind of big. But I'm talking about this is going to be the big one. So big, it has its own peripheral for the peripheral. So you need you, now you have two peripherals. Actually, technically, it's three peripherals because you need the PS Move, you need the PS VR, and you need this controller that's in here. And you need the game. So you need four things to experience this game, which is a... Uh, it's a first-person shooter. You're on a planet. You shoot bugs. From what I've heard, I haven't seen if this has any reviews yet. I'm hoping it's good. I hope it's good because this was $80. Uh, technically, I only spent $58 because I'm such a cool guy. I had I had gift certificates too. Um, but I hope it's good. Really, I'm really excited. I really want this to be the next thing for shooters because, man, PSVR is dope. VR in general is dope. So let's go. Here's the front. You got the controller and the game in there. Some box art right there. Boom, boom. Look at that. Here's the back. It's pretty much exactly the same. Not much of a difference here. <clears throat> I wonder what games will use this in the future. I hope uh, they do what the PS Move tried to do, where games that aren't... Like, I want Resident Evil to kind of use this. Uh, but, like, games like... Remember when Killzone 3 and, like, Resistance 3 let you use the PS Move controller? I want them to do the same thing. Except uh, in PSVR, just add some PSVR in there, which I know will probably be harder than if you just added PS Move support. But uh, do it, PS Sony, you the best, right? You 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 my boys. You know I don't collect. Actually, I do collect for you guys. Just uh, limited run games. Um, but uh, you you cool? So do what I say. All right, just do do what I say. Okay, I'm I'm. I know what I'm talking about, okay? I unbox games. So, all right, here we go. Let's take this bitch out. Mm, yeah. I don't do that first-person shit either, where a lot of people have said, you, you should show the unboxing some more, not your stupid face. Uh, but that's not what I, I do, because the most important part is my face. You know, you want to see my face while I go, whoa, look, a cardboard box. Whoa. See my reaction? It's fucking real. All right, so here's the... Whatever. Yeah, you're. Ooh, I hit the camera. Sorry, it shook a little bit. All right, let's go. I didn't put any gel in my hair today, so it's all puffy. It looks weird. Um, so here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, it has a. Oh, look, it has a little box in there. Oh, oh. Let me flip it around. Wait. Okay. Wait. Look at this. Oh. Keep it real safe. All right, <laughs> let's try to get this uh, out of there. All right. Well, first things first is uh, looks like. All right. Well, first thing first, it looks like this is the game right here. So let's try to get that out of there. I think. All right. Yeah. Yep. There it is. Here's the game, which we'll unbox in a second. First, I want to check out that controller, which I'm very excited to see how it uh, feels. All right, let's take this off. Come on, come on, get off. What's going on? Okay, Sony, why'd you make it all complicated? All right, I got it. So, here it is. Look at that. All right, get this out of here. I'm not reading that. Don't need it. I'm smart. I'll, I'll be able to do it. I better not. Okay. Better not lose it, just in case. All right, put that over there. Here it is. Wait, hold on. 
Does this come with PS Move? Oh, you, so, wait, hold on. You don't need a PS Move for this? I actually thought you really did need a PS Move for this. Here we go. Wow, actually, I didn't know that. To be fair, I've been... Ooh, there it is. Look at that. It looks weird, but... It looks like a deformed, really thick coat hanger. Like, I don't know why. It doesn't look like a coat hanger. I don't know why that. Oh, man, that feels good. Moving around. Look at that. Oh, here's the movement, I guess. I don't know what this is for. This is movement, I'm assuming. So I don't know what this is for. But anyway, let's take a closer look. I guess you don't need a PS Move first. I, I kept seeing this controller and not really knowing anything about it. Just by, you know, I just knew what it looked like. Uh, and I always saw this rubber ball and I assumed that meant that you would put like a PS Move in here or something like that. You know, you just place it in there and everything else would work. Um, but I guess that's not the case. So you don't need a PS Move for this. So if you just have the camera, you know, and you, you decide just to get the camera for whatever reason, uh, then... You don't need the PS Move. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like at least. I don't see how you'd be able to use it unless you dual wield them. That'd be that'd be dope. Um, I don't know what this button is. Well, let's take a closer look at the buttons. All right, uh, I got a PS button there. I'm assuming. Oh, that turns it on. Look. Hopefully, no, it's not connected. It wouldn't turn my PS4 on. Um, don't know what this is for. Oh, this is the uh, touchpad. It has the touchpad symbols on it. Let me see if I can. Here you go. Can you see it? I hope you can. Uh, it has like the kind of like the little dots on it. Um, you got the circle, X, square, and triangle buttons, and then you have. I'm assuming this is supposed to be the right pad. So I don't know how many times y'all ever use this. The right pad, the uh, right thumbstick. Whatever. Uh, you know what I meant. So I don't know how many times you'll actually be using that, considering right is to move, and you'll be doing that with this thing. Um, of course, it's gonna be harder to show this. Here's the uh, movement. Here's start and select I'm assuming or share and options d-pad um, this is L1 and R um, L1 and L2 uh, and this is I'm um, uh, assuming R2 uh, and here's R1 just in case you need to use R1 that'll probably be like a reload or something except that's actually really hard to get to when you're holding it like this because it's on this side so you have to use your other hand I guess or really reach your thumb over to get it oh, oh wait there's <laughs> R1's there too Oh, okay. See, they thought of it. See, they, they know what they're doing. So, there's two R1 buttons. Right there. And right there. So, that thing's cool, man. Look at this. It does look weird. Not that it looks like a coat hanger. It does look like something you'd hang something off of. Like, if you had it like this, you'd hang your coat off. There you go. Have it on the wall. But, um, in a large version of something like that. But, um, especially the color of it. But, um, it feels good. I'm, about, I'm ready to take on some mofos. Now, the thing is, when you have the PS... I guess it really doesn't matter what this looks like, because when you have the uh, the PSVR on, obviously you can't see. So, I wonder how it feels when you have the the uh, full immersion, when you have the gun ready, and you're like, oh, this is going to be so cool. I've heard really good things about hands-on, like people have played it at, like, uh, press conference... Not press conference, um press events and stuff like that, and, and demos, uh, and a lot of people have said it's a really good shooter, uh, and I actually heard when it comes to the story, it's not too bad too, which I was not expecting, but um, there you go, that's the gun, bam, get shot up, now let's do unboxing for the actual game, here's the front, far point, alright, here's the back, and here's the side, I don't think this has multiplayer, Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, it has co-op, but I knew that. But it doesn't have, um, sadly, it does not have any uh, competitive multiplayer, which would be <laughs> really funny watching, like, everybody trying to aim and stuff. I don't know. Um, survivors keep moving. Uh. <laughs> Farpoint is a riveting VR space adventure set on a hostile alien planet. On a mission to pick up scientists studying an anomaly near Jupiter, a sudden rupture nearby sends you and their station crashing onto an alien, unknown alien world. Alright, so it's a pretty simple premise. Uh, I wonder how long this game is actually going to be. Uh, I'm guessing around four hours. I don't think it's going to be very long, but hey, if it's a good experience, then I'm okay with that. Uh, I would totally replay it if it's a good experience. Uh, I might be playing this twice, because I think I know someone that might be getting this game as well. So we might do some co-op, but I will be playing it tonight. Uh, Gore plays. Not live, sadly. Um, if I do a co-op playthrough with someone else, it won't be live either, because... Uh, I can't live stream until like the end of May because of copyright issues. So, uh, <laughs> so I can't do that yet. So sadly, that's why I haven't been live streaming at all for the last couple of months. People were wondering. Um, 
But uh, I could always live stream on Twitch and stuff, but I, I, I hate Twitch. I'm not even going to lie. But I guess I could do it if I really wanted to. But, but, I like to record. So I definitely will be doing that. So there you go. That is Farpoint. Look forward to a core place for this either tonight or tomorrow. We'll see. But anyway, um, oh, I didn't open it. What am I doing? <laughs> Jesus, what's wrong with me? Um... But anyway, that was Farpoint. I'm sure there's not going to be much in here. So, that was Farpoint. Um, I am very excited to play this. Uh, one thing that I have to figure out is... Not figure out, but I'll have to buy PlayStation Plus. Yeah, see, there's not much in there. There's controls. I'm surprised there's even a background to it. Uh, here's the disc. Um, I have to buy me a... Here you go. It shows you how to play with both controllers. So I guess you could play with a regular PlayStation 4 controller. So I I guess that's why they're selling it separately. Why the hell would you want to, though? Why would you ever do this? Pay, pay the 30 extra bucks and have a nice time. All right? I guess there is some places that are sold out of the bundle. So I guess that's also a reason. But um, there you go. I'm excited for this. Uh, I'm excited. So there you go. That is Farpoint. I have to buy me some PS Plus. But I'm going to wait and see if the person I think is getting it will actually get it. So I'm sure they will, though. So anyway, there you go. That's, uh, that's, that's it. So uh, I'll see you out there. All right. I'm going to explore some worlds, shoot some aliens. All right. Um, tomorrow I might have an unboxing for Injustice 2. We'll see. Not sure if I'm getting it, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. So there you go. Thank you. Until next time. Goodbye.